So I want to know how it came to be this Betty Who business. How did you get to be support on that show? Um, we did a, a remix for her of her song, Somebody Loves You. Somebody wants to hear you say, oh, somebody loves you. We actually met her at CMJ uh, in New York at the Knitting Factory last October, and she was awesome, and we just kind of hit it off, and uh, yeah, we did that remix for her, and um, yeah, we got offered the tour. We were like, yeah, let's hang out more. Awesome, and the tour starts beginning of October. Yes, yeah. But you did some festivals this summer, too. We did. Lollapalooza being one of them. Yep. What's the craziest thing you saw at Lollapalooza? Uh, Joy Wave set was insane. <laughs> it was awesome. It's like it was outside and really hot, and like outside is not my thing. So I did uh, a lot of inside activities and then went outside and played. And then uh, we played Oshiaga the next day, which was uh, awesome. Like the weather in Montreal was great. and like one of the people from Top Chef or something does the catering for it, oh, which was amazing. Better. Yeah, we just all went through the food line like nine times. <laughs> it was really great. So you're headed out on the road in October. Yes. And how long is this tour? Um, we're gone for, they kind of like roll one into the next one. Um, but we're going out with St. Lucia for a couple of weeks. Then we're out with Betty Who for like a full month. Then we go to Europe um, after that. And we do some like, I think like London, Berlin, Paris. Wow. Other, other cities that are in Europe. Amazing. So for a band from Rochester, New York, you're seeing the world. Yeah, right? That's pretty cool. Free vacation. So when's the next Joy Wave? When do you go out on your own? When's your big tour by yourself? Uh, our record comes out at the beginning of next year, our full length, so probably like sometime after that. Awesome. And you're just riding the wave from this one. From It came out in March, uh, right? Yeah, yep. So this is an EP. It has four songs on it. And then the four songs on this EP are also on the full length. So it kind of like rolls one into the next. And Tongues really took off on YouTube. So that's exciting. Tell yeah. me the story behind the video. The, the directors uh, are a couple guys named the Daniels who did, uh, they did the Lil John DJ Snake turn down for what video? So they had actually shot that the week before ours, and they were telling us about it. They're like, yeah, this guy like humps his way through a building. We're like, oh, yeah, man, that sounds crazy. And then we saw that video, and we were like, oh, my God. And it was like the viral sensation of the year. But they, they came up with the concept for uh, our Tongues video, and we were like, that's crazy. We're going to trust you guys that it'll be awesome. And they nailed it. They're all just me. Thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate Thanks for it. having me.